your most accurate local forecast starts now with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. It was fun watching this morning. For the most part, there weren't too many problems traveling, but there it is. <sighs> there it goes, right? Um, it's really, really difficult, and I've noticed this. Even the last time we had like our big and actually a record snow back in 2016, it was the biggest blizzard that we've ever had on record. And within a, a week's time, we removed most of the snow, and, and that's the toughest part here. Even when we do move into winter and we do see snow, uh, I'm going to immediately grab those sleds and the kids and get out there and try to get in as much as possible because it just doesn't seem like the snow really wants to stick around much. Now, anyway, uh, it wasn't enough to go sledding anyway. I am pointing out, though, we are seeing some clearing now. Uh, plenty of, as a matter of fact, Ohio, Indiana. So we're slowly, it's going to take the first half of tonight until we can finally get rid of the clouds. That should offer a decent amount of sunshine. So there we go. A liquid equivalent of two hundredths. That was this morning. As we go to Mechanicsburg right now at 37, we're going to be dropping below freezing overnight. Uh, but Friday will be a day into the 50s. It's nice. So high pressure is going to be moving east here. That's going to be giving us nice southwest flow, which uh, is going to finally warm us up. And we are dry for Friday. We are dry for Saturday. However, uh, the wind direction may kind of produce a, a thick layer of clouds. It might be stubborn to clear. Anyway, let's enjoy our Friday. And it's not bad the next two days especially with highs in the 50s here for tomorrow. Now we go into Friday night, Saturday, and the clouds seem to lock in. We get this easterly fetch of moisture from the Atlantic, just kind of locks in here. And notice it's just really tough to burn through those clouds heading into Saturday afternoon. So what we thought uh, could be 50s, I think we're going to be stuck in the 40s Saturday. However, Sunday, even though we do warm up, I'd say by lunchtime, that rain's going to be across the entire mid state, so it will be moving in during the morning hours. This isn't, you know, a, a tenth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. No, I'd say uh, an inch or more of rain is what we expect Saturday, Sunday uh, into Sunday night. It's going to be a soaker for us here the second half of the weekend. So here's a weekend outlook. Friday's certainly the nicest at 54. Saturday's not bad. It's just cloudy. That's all. I mean, it's still quiet. Sunday is when we have the rain, breezy, mild. Once that rain clears early Monday morning, it will be windy. Uh, if you're thinking, I just need sunshine, well, then all of next week. As a matter of fact, next week looks sunny and dry, um, a full dry week, which I don't want to say it's uncommon. It's, it's a bit unusual to actually have a, a, a sunny week, a stretch of four or five days of sunshine in December. But I think that is certainly possible moving into next week. I was going to say that that'd give me a chance to catch up on shopping, but that's still not going to happen. <laughs> okay. If you need help, we can help. Yeah. You. Right. you have to get started, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Mm -hmm. Coming up tonight, another